In this video, we will look at quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is any four-sided polygon. In other words, any flat shape with four straight sides. Some quadrilaterals have special names. The most well-known are squares, rectangles, trapeziums, parallelograms, rhombuses, and kites. We will look at the properties of each of these types. A square is a quadrilateral with four equal sides, and where each angle is 90 degrees. A square is a regular quadrilateral. All squares are the same shape, although they can be different sizes. A square has several other properties. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. The two diagonals are the same length. The diagonals bisect each other. This means that the point where the diagonals cross divides each diagonal into two equal parts. The angle between the diagonals is a right angle. A rectangle is another well-known quadrilateral. The angles in a rectangle are all right angles, just like a square. However, the two pairs of opposite sides do not need to be equal. This means that rectangles can have different shapes, from wide and short, through to tall and thin. The two diagonals of a rectangle are the same length, just like a square. The diagonals bisect each other, but they are not at right angles to each other. A trapezium is a quadrilateral that has two sides that are parallel to each other. In this example, the base and top sides are parallel. Trapeziums can vary in shape. Like rectangles, they can be tall or short, wide or thin. But also the angles of the two sides can vary. This changes the relative sizes of the two parallel sides. The two angles A and D add up to 180 degrees. This is because they are allied angles. Angles B and C also add up to 180 degrees for the same reason. An alternative name for a trapezium is a trapezoid. We can think of a trapezium as being a bit like a triangle, with the top sliced off, parallel to the base. Like a triangle, there are different types of trapezium. A trapezium where all the sides are unequal is called a scalene trapezium. A trapezium where one side makes an angle of 90 degrees with the base is called a right trapezium. It is a slice through a right angle triangle. A trapezium where one side makes an angle of more than 90 degrees with the base is called an obtuse trapezium. It is a slice through an obtuse triangle. A trapezium where the two slanted sides make the same angle at the base in opposite directions is called an isosceles trapezium. It is a slice of an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles trapezium, the two sides have equal lengths. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which the two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. It can be thought of as a pushed over rectangle. Like a rectangle, it can have any width and height. But a parallelogram can also have any angle of slope. The two pairs of opposite sides have equal lengths. The two pairs of opposite angles are also equal. Any two adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees. The two diagonals bisect each other, but they don't form a right angle. A rhombus is a quadrilateral in which the two pairs of opposite sides are parallel and all four sides have equal length. A rhombus can be thought of as a pushed over square. The shape of a rhombus depends on the angle of slope. Just like a parallelogram, the opposite angles of a rhombus are equal and any pair of adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees. The two diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at 90 degrees, just like a square. However, unlike a square, the diagonals are not the same length.
A kite is a quadrilateral where two pairs of adjacent sides are equal. In this case, the lines AB and AD are equal, and the lines CB and CD are equal. Kites can have different widths and heights. The shape also depends on the position of the line BD. The angles B and D are equal, but the angles A and C are not. The diagonals form a right angle where they intersect. The intersection divides the line BD into two equal parts. However, the line AC is not divided equally. A right kite is a kite where the angles at the two arms are right angles. Right kites are cyclical. This means that we can draw a circle that passes through all four corners of a kite. The opposite is also true. If a kite isn't a right kite, then it isn't cyclical. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can find more resources at graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.